Alexa, what is today's date? It's Wednesday, February 28th. At 3.58 p.m., I just got home from a little grocery haul. I'm officially in week two of counting macros. Um, technically, let me count the days. Day 10 of counting macros. I am so freaking pumped about it. I'm having a good time. I finally feel like I'm ready mentally for it, right? So I'm gonna show you what I got. This is just a quick little haul to buy things that we were running a little low on, things I ran out of, some things as I'm, you know, 10 days into this macro thing um consistently that i want to try or incorporate now that i'm seeing how i'm feeling and what i'm lacking and what i want more of and like i said things were a little low on for the week so teas because i'm not drinking my calories i think these are going to be great because they're obviously calorie free and or just something for me to do between meals because I'm, you know, not used to eating a lot more food. Although the food I'm eating now is obviously very satiating. Of course, we got some tuna. These are 35 grams of protein per pack, which are amazing. I'm eating 165 grams of protein right now. And let me tell you, it's a little tricky. So any way I can get it, these are just kind of like extra quick way to get it in. Red peppers are everything to me and Mike right now. I got so many of them because he loves them i love them i will literally just chop this in four pieces put throw it in the air fryer and just use it as my side and eat the whole pepper for like my side for dinner um tons of zucchini because anytime i buy it i usually get one or two just for dinner and i realize that it's not enough <laughs> at all so i got a ton more so we can just have it in there to throw in with our food okay like i said the protein goal is always trying to be met so when i saw these i thought okay let me see if i like this and i ended up eating one of them in the store and loved it let me show you can't really fully get it out but it is just this yummiest little chocolate fudge situation it's giving easter vibes with the sprinkles and easter's around the corner i'm really excited about these because it just feels like a little quick little dessert and once you've been eating clean something like this is enough like at least for me i know if you have a really heavy sweet tooth you're probably like girl that was not chocolate cake that's not what i'm looking for but it is to me um i'm trying to eat very clean carbs obviously you need carbs in your life but i am actually calculating the carbs in my fruits and vegetables so i'm eating my carbs very quickly obviously and so the only carbs i'm really eating right now to be honest with you are sweet potatoes and then a bunch of vegetables since i'm actually calculating them and of course like the sugars and foods and things uh, which i'm obviously trying to minimize then i have been sort of really actually doing these amino drinks <laughs> this is gonna be embarrassing but do you see how many of these are open <laughs> because i can never get through one it's just too much caffeine for me and then every day i crave a different flavor so i drink a little bit out of each one this is from the last three days and i just kind of go back and forth but um i do want some coffee lately i've been craving coffee and this is a good old you know old school approach like i used to always do premier protein with my coffee back in the day i used to go to starbucks and grab a coffee and then just throw a premier protein in there and this is the one i would always use caramel um and that's always been great but i did see uh buff bunny actually heidi sommers she or summers sorry she was using the core power and i thought okay let me try a new protein for you know she does this in her coffees i saw her post something about it today and i was like holy crap 42 grams of protein most of them say 24 but this elite strawberry one does i'm a little nervous about it because i am lactose intolerant and anything with whey and you know even these kind of rub me the wrong way and this is like straight up milk so we'll see how that goes so i did get myself a dairy free option 20 grams of protein, super dairy-free, or, you know, non-dairy, um, cookies and cream. I have never tried this before, so we'll see how that goes. And then back here, we were just low on protein. There's a little bit left, so I got to recook some ground turkey that we already have a little bit in the fridge. We're low on 99% uh, lean-free, lean, lean uh, fat-free because, again, like, I don't really get hung up on this, but because I'm tracking my macros... I am being mindful so it just makes sense to get the fat free stuff when I can because there's just so much fat and carbs in like everything um, so this one I just got the 96 um, I got some turkey sausage that I'm gonna cook up because I've been eating eggs every morning which I always always have but just so that I don't get too tired of the egg whites I decided I'm gonna maybe throw some so turkey sausages in 
uh, the mix, especially for this weekend because I'm going to be packing my food to go for work. So I just eat such small meals in the morning, but I want something more filling. So I feel like adding turkey sausage will probably get me down to like two or three meals a day versus the four and five I've been having lately. Not for any other reason than like I just don't eat a lot of food at once. And then especially when I'm tracking my macros because things can be so filling. Um, okay, so this is different. I really can't even tell you if I've ever bought ground chicken before, ever. I don't think I have, but I saw a Instagram post. I think it was actually like a toddler's, you know, feeding your toddler's thing. And someone made like their own little chicken nuggets. I'm like, hold up. That would be so good to incorporate more protein in my diet. So I'm going to try making like little air fryer, like little nuggets. I mean, kind of like meatballs but I think I'm gonna you know make them more nuggety so it just feels like okay let me snack on that and I can get hit my protein goal um of course we have some oil sprays I'm a big olive oil girly and I am doing like salads with a little tablespoon of olive oil and and everything for my version of dressing but when I'm cooking some of the meat and things I just don't want to saturate it with olive oil because I'm trying to hit my macros and so these are great I mean I get nervous about these because they say zero say zero calories but are they, are they? because i mean it's avocado and sesame oil like how much of this are you allowed to put on this because in the past i have gone pretty nuts but obviously lately because i'm being mindful i just do a little coat so anyways if you know more about that let me know um then this is just a re-up because I have been making pico every single day. Like Mike and I eat it every single day. Um, I just don't like to make a lot at once because it's such so fresh. Like I don't want it to go bad. So the longest it'll stay in the fridge is two days. So we'll make it that one day, eat it. The next day we'll have some left. So right now I obviously have some, but I'll need some for like tomorrow, right? So definitely needed tomatoes. Uh, I got some extra jalapenos, but I have some jalapenos there. And we're honestly, I have this already, but I just got more of it so that I'm, you know, overlapping my need. But anyway, that's my quick little grocery haul. Hope you like it. Really excited about tracking my weight loss journey and my journey to recompositioning my body and achieving my dream physique. It's something that I've always wanted to do and I know how to do. I just lacked motivation and discipline and motivation and discipline have arrived for me so i'm working on that oh i missed the tangelos back here i don't know if y'all saw those like i said my carbs are definitely in uh fruits and veggies so the tangelos are back there it's tangelo season mike is obsessed with tangelos so so much i love them too but he waits every year for tangelo season but um yeah like i was saying this is my quick little grocery haul if you're tracking macros um or just working on your own you know fitness journey physique journey obviously health right like i just feel sometimes like health and fitness can be a little bit of a thin different line because there are very very fit people who are not healthy and there can be very much like healthy people technically physically blood work wise like healthy people who don't have like a snatched waist and like sh you know shredded arms or anything like that and you can still be super healthy but i personally have like a goal aesthetic i obviously want to be healthy and i'm approaching everything in a healthy way but i am consciously pursuing a body physique that i'm really excited about especially now that i'm moving into my 40s it's just kind of fun to be like in your 40s and going a little counterculture when especially I live in Texas and listen, we Texans like to eat and there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're being healthy, but I'm just wanting to show up as my best self according to what makes me happy. And so that this is it. So anyways, thanks for tuning into my quick little grocery haul. I'm gonna put everything away and start meal prepping a little bit. I'm gonna cook up some of this meat and have it ready to go. These chicken, I'm gonna figure out these chicken nuggets before I even post about them. <laughs> Let me make sure I like find my good recipe, do some troubleshooting and, um, and then like report back. Okay guys, support my channel, like and subscribe, all, that, all the good stuff. Thank you, bye. Wait, before I go, I want to share how I've been tracking my macros. I've been using the Grounds app. I call it the Buff Bunny app, but it's the app by Heidi Summers. She has great workouts, community, all kinds of things. I haven't really explored it even that deep for myself. I've done a couple of workouts and I've liked them, but mostly I just love the aesthetic macro tracker. So if there's any way we can support each other, leave me a comment. 
and I'm not a professional by any means, but I definitely love some accountability and encouragement and I'm definitely here for that. So I'm looking forward to sharing more of my fitness, weight loss journey, body recomposition journey with you guys. Okay, bye.